how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel this is the nothing phone 2 which is definitely one of the most hyped android smartphone and this year nothing phone 2 is running the latest nothing os 2.0 so you are getting so many new and amazing features with this beautiful smartphone with that being said, I'll be showing you some of the best tips, tricks and hidden features that will definitely help you to get most out of your brand new device. So stay tuned and watch this video till the very end. Also let's aim for at least 1000 likes on this one. With that said, drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. So this is how the Nothing Phone home screen looks like. And one thing you'll notice is that it has got so many useful and beautiful looking widgets. This time nothing has added bunch of new widgets that are super useful and if you want to apply any widget onto your home screen, just long press and select widgets. Here you get bunch of brand new nothing widgets that looks really cool and the best part is now you can add quick settings widgets directly onto your home screen for easier access. You can choose from any of these options. We have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Torch, Dark Mode, D&D, Auto Rotate and you can even add a widget to turn on the glyph lights. I think these widgets are super useful. Now you don't have to open your notification panel just to toggle the flashlight or turn on your Wi-Fi network. You can change any of these settings directly from your home screen. And since we are talking about widgets, did you know you can now add these widgets to your lock screen as well? All you need to do is just go into settings, select lock screen and here you get this option that says lock screen widgets. Simply go inside and now you can add different widgets to your lock screen. And there are 8 slots that you get to add all your favorite widgets. Not only this, if I go back and turn on this option that says always show basic info, this will activate the always on display on my phone and all my lock screen widgets will get appear on my always on display as well. This is an amazing feature that is not available on most other Android devices. Now coming back to the home screen, did you know you also get the option to customize your app folders. Previously you only had the option to enlarge these app folders but now you get bunch of customizations. All you have to do is just press and hold and tap on customization. Here you can change the shape of your app folders. There is a grid style, you can make it more rounded. But what I really liked is this cover style that lets you choose from these cool icons as a cover for your folders. Let's say you have a folder with full of games in it. Then you can use this joystick icon as a cover to that folder and this looks really cool on your home screen. Next, we have these beautiful monochrome themed icons that goes really well with the nothing design language. And if I apply dark theme on my phone, it automatically changes the color of all the icons. Now if you really want to change and customize your app icons, again press and hold, tap on customization, select icon pack and here you can choose between the default stock icons and we also got this nothing icon pack that comes pre-installed in this phone. Apart from this, you can also apply third party icon pack that you have downloaded from the play store and the pack that I'm currently using is called nothing adaptive. I think these icons look great on my home screen and since it has a combination of red and white, it goes really well with the nothing design and honestly it looks even better than the nothing stock icons. Moving on, let's talk about one of the most useful feature of this phone that is the glyph interface. With Nothing Phone 2, they have added some useful features to this glyph lights. First of all, there is a new feature called Essential Notification. With this, you can set certain app notifications as essential and when an alert comes from that specific app, the LED light in the top right corner turns on and stays that way. Now the only way to turn off this light is to read or dismiss that notification. To set it up, all you need to do is just go into Settings, select Glyph Interface and then select Notifications. Here click on add new essential and select the apps for which you want to receive essential notifications. You can also see the volume level here when the phone is logged. If you increase or decrease the volume, it shows on the back and this comes handy when you are listening to your favorite music. Not only this, you also get a progress bar in the glyph LEDs and this works on third party apps like Uber and Zomato. Let's say when you book a cab in Uber, this LED shows you the driver progress to your location. And you don't even have to open that application multiple times just to check the status. Now there is also a glyph timer which shows you a visual countdown through this LED. Let's say if you set a timer on your phone, you can place your phone like this and it shows a visual countdown that looks really cool. Apart from this, there is a new glyph ringtone composer which lets you create your own ringtone and to get this feature, you need to download the glyph composer app from the play store which is completely free. 
since we are talking about glyph lights there is one really cool hidden feature that i want to show you guys if you're playing music on your phone or even watching videos on youtube then did you know you can actually enable a music visualizer by using the glyph interface right now i'm playing a song on youtube music and you can see how the glyph light works as a music visualizer to activate this feature on your phone all you need to do is go to your phone dialer and type a random number then you have to create a contact with a name called alakazam once done now go into settings glyph interface and assign a ringtone for that specific contact now when you go back you get this brand new feature called music visualizer previously there was no such option but now you can easily enable this feature and use the glyph light as a music visualizer this works extremely well and now when you play any music on your phone you get this beautiful visualizer on the back next there is also a native app locker feature finally available in the nothing os 2.0 just go into settings select apps and here you get this option called app locker just enter your device pin and now you can easily select all the apps for which you want to activate this feature you can also choose when you want to lock your apps either you can select when the screen is locked or when you close that particular app once done now when you try to open that application it will ask you to scan your fingerprint so you don't have to install any third party app locker from the play store similarly there is also a clone app feature available inside these settings so now you can run multiple instances of any app and this is really useful by default if you press and hold the power button it activates the google assistant instead of showing you the power of menu to fix this just go to the settings select apps and then select assistant here you will see something called as hold for assistant if it is already enabled on your phone simply turn it off once that is done now when you long press the power button you will get the power of menu if you want to open any app in a floating window then the easiest way to do it is just drag and release the app towards the upper portion like this you can then resize the window as per your requirement similarly if you want to open apps in a split screen view just go to recent menu tap on the app icon and click on open in split screen now you can select the other app which you would like to open next in the settings if you go inside notifications you will have this option called notification history you can enable this feature if you want to keep a track of all the notifications that you receive on your phone there are times when you delete some important notifications by mistake in such situations you can definitely make use of this amazing feature once you set up your phone you will not see the battery percentage in the status bar but you can enable that by going into the battery settings and here turn on this option called show battery percentage another cool feature i want to show you is that when you just open your quick settings press and hold on this torch toggle it activates the glyph torch instead of the normal flashlight which is definitely much brighter finally let me show you some camera features by default this phone only captures up to 12 megapixel photos but you just need to swipe up and change the resolution to 50 megapixel so that you can take some high quality pictures on your phone similarly when you record videos you also get the option to record videos at 4k resolution just tap about to change the video quality next if you click on more you get various modes if you want to take macro shots then you can use macro mode and we also get the expert mode that only work for photos you can adjust the iso white balance and the shutter speed as well i think the camera features are very limited in this phone and i hope nothing will add more features with the upcoming software updates so that's pretty much it for this video these are some of the best tips tricks and hidden features for the nothing phone 2 if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button subscribe to this channel if you haven't already i am mr android and i'll see you guys in the next one